What is up guys? What is up YouTube? My name is Luca. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if you're new. Today we are taking over episode 2 of this series. I uh, hope you're excited because we're going to go through how I made my old video. Old video? Meh. The video that I posted last time. So the 69 slam video. The 3 shots video. It was pretty easy to make. Easy. Um, but I really like easy ideas. So I really like to take an idea and then turn it into something unique without taking 700 shots and taking seven weeks to edit. So that's what I did with that video. Before we start with that though, uh, I really wanna show you where I am. So this is my room in Bali. Uh, so let's do like a really, really, really quick room tour just to show you like my environment right now. It's, uh, it's a really nice house, it is in Perenan. Uh, it's by Changu. It's a really nice area. It's a lot of green here. I love it. Let's go with the room tour. you're back I hope you like the room uh, it's kind of big and has a really nice view and this light is just like popper um, so I'm not gonna complain about that uh, it's uh, pretty close to the beach also so that's a plus anyway let's get into the video of today so today we are talking about the video I made last time and I'm gonna cut it um, so you will see the video going here or here, or here, I don't know where my hand is. And at the same time, I'm gonna have my laptop here and I'm gonna, we're gonna go through what I did, why I did this, why I chose that and everything, okay? So let's start with that. Uh, so, I can't even pick up the laptop. Yeah. Okay, here we are. So let's open the video. Wait, how do you screen record? On Mac. Meh. Fuck, I should have thought this before. I definitely should have thought this before. Hmm. Okay, I'm not gonna screen record. I'm gonna do something else in post because I'm, uh, I'm stupid and I forgot to check before how to screen record. Anyway, let's go. Okay, so let's start the video. <laughs> Okay, let's stop here already. Uh, so basically, I have three scenes uh, in three different locations, right? Uh, one is an amphitheater, one is a top of a church kind of thing, uh, obviously the sunset, and one is uh, at a rock where I cliff jump. Um, yeah, so the first scene starts with me walking into the center of the amphitheater, uh, turning around all happy, blah, 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 and then one of the things that I do most of the time is analyze the brand just before uh, I do the video. So I check like the social media, I check what they like, I check if they have any statement they like or anything like that. In this case, they do live by this thing which is a play loud and no regrets kind of vibe. Uh, so I wanted to integrate that into the video. <coughs> they also really like like really colorful scenes and a mm, lot of colors, so I, that, I did that with a uh, really natural skin colors, really natural color grading in post. Um, so yeah, that's the first thing that I do usually when I, uh, I have to shoot for a brand. I check all of their stuff and I check what they like, what they don't like, and I try to follow their guidelines. Uh, so the first effect that I make, it's this uh, play loud thing. So basically I just took my phone and I put the volume up and I did the same with the music in, uh, in my timeline. Uh, so slide in a thing as my finger goes up and then I added an actual uh, play loud 
I left for play uh, text, so I just took the scene, put in After Effects. Uh, by the way, it's Premiere Pro and After Effects because that's just what I like. Uh, and I just tracked the scene and I tracked play loud to get bigger, just to look cooler. And then we focus on the shorts, so obviously that's what you want to see, how they fit and how they look on a guy, I guess. Um, so I wanted to transition from all of the scene and with one kind of transition. I'm not really a fan of like zooming and swipe and I almost dropped my laptop. Uh, so basically what I did, uh, shout out to Sean again, Boop. Um, to help me film in this. Um, but basically what I did, I just told him, can you wrap around me? And then I wrap around me on the other scene, and that's the transition with a nice speed wrap, a little bit of blur, and that's what happens. So, whoop, different scene. Just me walking in the sunset, basically. I, w I just wanted to feel like the whole video, it's a one shot kind of thing. Me jumping. Yeah, me jumping, wrap around again. Uh, and probably you haven't noticed, but uh, I like to yeah, just like do like kind of like I'm really OCD, as you might have noticed from my room tour. So I like to do things perfectly, and like I really I, don't know, I just really like to be everything like geometric and like symmet symmetric geometric, whatever you understand what I mean. Uh, so I did one wrap around on this side, one wrap around on that side on the second scene. So this is the third scene, we are at the beach. Just walking down the beach, down the rocks. And then I wanted to integrate the no regrets one. So this is what I did. Uh, I basically used an effect that I love, which is basically take a video and uh, transform it into a 3D photo animation. Uh, I did this following Andreas Ham tutorial. He's an absolute legend. Uh, I'll link his channel or his stuff here somewhere. I don't know how to do it. Uh, if I figure out how to do it, I'll, you'll see it here. If not, I'll link it below. Uh, go follow him. He has a sick tutorial for this effect. Uh, it's done enough effects after uh, after effects. So you basically take the video, you create a mask around yourself in this case around the sea and then you just move the things like a 3D photo, like a 3D photo animation. It's kind of really popular right now on Instagram, so I wanted to do that. And I tracked No Regrets. I really like these like cell uh, glitches. Uh, yeah. And then I go back, fall into the sea, and I, even you the camera goes up, the 69 Slam logo tracked on the horizon. So again, after effects, the structure thing, and that's it. That's a really simple video uh, for today one. Uh, I don't want to anticipate what's going to happen next week because uh, it's kind of a big one. Uh, for these two, I wanted to like share with you like the first like two projects that I really like uh, over the past two months. Well, no, I did this just now. Just now, that's a South African thing. Thank you, Sean. I did this like three weeks ago, maybe two, three weeks ago. Um, and the next video, I actually did it in, back in May. But it's a, it's a really cool video. It's a really big video. One of the first ever, not big production, but like just really cool video. I don't know, just a video I'm proud of, okay? Uh, so it's gonna be next week. Uh, uh, did we go over everything? Da, 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 da. Yes, we did. Um, I wanted to touch down quickly. Do you like my rings? Okay, over. I wanted to touch down quickly on how to get uh, these brand jobs, right? Uh, I'd be really quick and I'd be really, really juicy. So basically, uh, first of all, you don't need a following. First thing, because I don't have a following. I have a whole hundred people on YouTube and a whole like 3K, and like half of them is like friends and family. So you don't need a following to do 
any shit right now. Uh, you just need quality. You know, you need to be confident in what you do, and you need to just like know how to relate and like how to talk to the client, right? Um, so definitely like have a really nice approach by email or by DM on Instagram, and just like find brands that you relate to. That's the least what I do. So I find a brand that I like, and I DM them, I email them. I usually like, I DM and email them, just to have two shots of the same client. 99% uh, they're gonna say no, 1% gonna say yes. That 1% is gonna take you to the next level. So start, start creating, start doing your thing, and just don't get demotivated or like frustrated when some shit doesn't happen because it takes time. That's, uh, that's the game. Uh, just don't be discouraged. Keep trying until it happens. And yeah, that's my only su suggestion, tip. That's my only tip, I think. Uh, that's what I tell my friends. When they ask me, oh, you're so lucky you live in holiday. I'm like, no, idiot. Uh, and also, like, if you do something you like, you're passionate about, it's so much easier to do anything. Absolutely anything. Like, I could literally shoot the whole day just because I like it. So I don't wanna live in, I don't wanna live and like work in an office like nine to five. I really can't do that and that's why I'm in Bali right now. So it might feel like a dream to you guys, but we're all the same, we all can do this shit. So just go out and get it. And see you next week. Get ready for the video. Oh, I forgot to do all the plug things. Um, so subscribe please to me because I really need it. Uh, I love you. Anyway, uh, subscribe, leave a like below, and I'll see you guys next week.